Sounds like a lot of fun. Well, even when the fair is over, there is still a lot of fun to be had at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. A few years ago, the fair introduced to the Midlands Carolina Lights, a nearly two mile drive through light experience and it's back again in its fifth year. It's exciting and it has some new components to it as well. Joining us today with more on what you can expect when you bring your family to the Carolina Lights is the general manager for the South Carolina State Fair and a lady who clearly has no rest, Nancy Smith. <laughs> you do it all, Nancy, year round, year round. Uh, but it's all so much fun. It is so a lot of fun. Yes. I'm excited that this is the fifth year, fun year for the Carolina Lights. So let's just get to it. What is new this year? All right. Well, we're December the 8th through the 24th mm -hmm. this year. And, you know, it's a really a family affair. People come in their PJs and bring the kids and just have some fun. But we noticed a lot of folks had their little furry friends with them. Mm -hmm. So we're having dog treats this year in addition to those yummy chocolate chip cookies and milk and uh, uh, water. If you'd like that, you can also have your, uh, treat your dog while you're uh, going through the light show this year. I'm glad that we're considering yes. our furry friends always good to include the whole family right that's well right. that's fun so people who've never been let's pull up some pictures so we can give them the experience right here through our screens you're going to enter into just this christmas wonderland of thousands of lights yes we have like a hundred led displays mm -hmm. which uh you know is about a, a, over thousands and thousands of lights mm -hmm. you may see anything from the nativity scene to maybe some dinosaurs uh, Rudolph may be kicking a field goal over there close to USC football stadium. You never know what you're going to find. Um, but this year we've also added, we wanted to recognize some other folks. So on the 13th, we'll have a military appreciation day where nice. they can enter mm -hmm. for half price. And then on the 19th, we're, we're going to be honoring our first responders with half price as well. That's amazing. Always keeping first those who made that sacrifice to keep us safe every day. Now, who uh, is behind bringing these creative LED lights to the area. Well, we do work with the promoter out of Massachusetts to bring the light displays there, but we have a great team, as you know, at the South Carolina State Fair, and mm -hmm. probably a team of about 12 folks. They're out there working as we speak and have been doing so for uh, the last uh, few days to get everything ready for opening on December the 8th. Yeah, just curious, how far in advance do you have to start working to get those displays up? Well, the, the display is in, the light show is in, held in the Lexington Medical Center Fair Park, mm -hmm. and as you know, we also park for a thing called football, yeah. so we had to wait for after the uh -huh. uh, the famous game, yes. uh, which was the last Saturday in November, so as soon as that game is over, we start. A so. lot of work goes into making sure that the families here in the Midlands have a great experience. How did this idea even come to fruition? Because, of course, the State Fair is something that is also something you have to plan in advance. You start working on that year round, actually. You're probably already working on next year's State Fair now. So when did this idea come to say, let's add more work to it? <laughs> well, you know, we, well, you're right. We, we've already started on next year's fair, yeah. so stand by for that. But we we just knew that we had a lot of uh, beautiful ground at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds, and the Lexington Medical Center Fair Park is beautiful with the trees. And thought, wow, we need to do something exciting for the community. And at that time, there was no other light show in mm -hmm. the area. So we thought, well, we'll do a little something different and have a drive-through light show. It started out probably about maybe a little over a mile, so it's grown to about two miles and more displays. And then, as you know, a few years ago, we added the cookies and the milk. Um, and now this year, we've added some, uh, you know, additional things as we as we go from year to year. That is so much fun. Let's pull up the details so that you can be a part of the Carolina Lights this year. This, again, kicks off December 8th all the way through the 23rd. It is closed on Monday, so keep that in mind. All the fun happening at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. Discount car passes are available right now through December 7th. Where can people go to uh, access, access rather, those discount car passes? Yep. SCStateFair.org, and you're right, you can get the discount through December the 7th, and then on the 8th, they'll go to $20 for cars and $35 for the minibus, which is 9 to 24 folks, and then anything over that as a bus, it's $70. And Nancy, I imagine that the proceeds from the Carolina Lights go back into helping the fair? Thank you very much. Yes, yes they do. We're a 501c3, and mm -hmm. as you know, we were thrilled to be able to increase our scholarship giving this year from 300000 to 500000 So when you come and enjoy all the lights and have the fun with the family, you you know can know you're making a difference in South Carolina's future when you drive through the show. That is awesome. So you can have fun, you can make a difference at the same time. We're going to have this full interview on our website, sodacitylive.com. Much more fun on the show 
On the other side of the break, we'll be right back.